New tonight at 5 for you, the Food and Drug Administration recently approved a new gene therapy for hemophilia. A Colorado man was actually part of the trial for that therapy. Dylan Thomas is your reporter for Northern Colorado and joins us live tonight. Dylan, you had a chance to talk to that patient today. And Michael, the joy on his face says it all. This trial has likely changed his life forever. Hemophilia can block many people from enjoying the everyday things in life that other people may take for granted. Well, now there is a drug on the market that may change the lives of those living with hemophilia A. I came out of the womb with hemophilia. And life since then for Andrew Schultz has been filled with injections and precautions. Yeah, I've estimated 3,000 shots I've given myself. Andrew has hemophilia A, which means his blood doesn't naturally clot. If I would get bumped, I would just keep bruising. And it limited his ability to play sports and more. There you go. And I had ankle problems. So I could never run the mile and things like that. But then he heard about a medical trial for Roctavian. It essentially cured me of hemophilia. And so I went from this cadence of three shots a week, traveling with, with needles, to no shots. The single infusion gene therapy has now changed the way Andrew sees life. My kind of whole lifestyle has shifted because of that. For 30 some odd years of life, I, I just had a negative outlook on my health. Andrew and 111 others were part of the study that has now led to the first and only FDA approved gene therapy for hemophilia A. Studies thus far show most participants were pressing on without any issue more than three years into the trial. And I started hiking and, and like building up my muscle and, and sort of reclaiming this body. How about you do this? And now he can be even more active with his family. And that was just amazing. You know, again, I just was breaking through ceilings that I thought were always gonna be there. But the gift of a, the cure just feels amazing. I think this is the change in hemophilia that, that we've all been waiting for. Hemophilia is passed down through genes. Andrew's daughter does live with his chromosome, but she does not have hemophilia. But her future children will have 50-50 odds of living with hemophilia A. He says he's thrilled to know by the time those future grandchildren are born that they may never have to go through the issues he did growing up, all because their grandpa participated in this trial. Reporting live in Northern Colorado, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado first. A wonderful story tonight, Dylan. Thank you. And Dylan doesn't just cover Northern Colorado for us. He lives there. If you have a story idea for him, reach out to him through our website, cbscolorado.com, or give him a call on our tips line. Well, the state of Colorado 